Hello everybody, I hope you're doing very well and welcome back to another cryptocurrency technical analysis where in today's video I'm going to be going over Bitcoin here and then a few altcoins that I've been trading so I hope you enjoyed the video and yeah let's get straight into it. So I want to start first on a bigger term time frame taking a step back and looking at this and just reviewing what we have here on the charts okay. So this weekend, I do think is going to be quite a low volume weekend um, in, in terms of volume that's coming in. OK, I, I expect this to calm down and then we'll get the action picking up more on Sunday night going into the weekly close slash Monday. So today should be a decent day of just scalp trading. OK, so what we are looking at on the more of a zoomed out view here. OK, Fibs taken from the high on the 6th of December, 6th of September down to our low on the 15th of December. OK, and as we all know, we've still got the golden pocket resistance going on in here. That's the really big resistance that we uh, have yet. If we get up there is obviously going to be the biggest resistance we've seen all year. OK, being the floor of 2018, being the 618 that we've got here. And, uh, you know, just 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 this psychological level that is the 6000 that we've got going on. It's it's going to be absolutely massive resistance. OK, um, so with that with that in mind, what does what do the bulls need to do to to even fathom getting up this high? OK, there's a lot, a lot of work to do. OK. So what are we looking at here on the short term? OK, so short term, we've obviously lost the parallel channel support. This parallel channel support was very, very strong. OK, we then break down through the parallel channel and now we are back testing it as resistance. Although broke through, come straight back down. This was just for more of a very quick relief rally. OK, that was like a 6% bounce, you know, quite substantial. Uh, so you got a 6% bounce. OK where we were taking our fibs from the high to the low there and you can see getting rejected at about the 0 0.5 okay then we're coming down with finding support and we, we could potentially be in a bull uh, in a bear flag right now okay so we're obviously keeping that very much in mind that we have really really important support of 4923 okay 4923 extremely strong support okay what we need to bear in mind though is that we could potentially be flag polling here uh, for another drop to the downside why do I also have an inkling that we this could happen Okay, so you want to look for hidden bearish divergences. Why hidden bearish divergences? Because they uh, signal a downtrend continuation. Okay, so let's turn on the RSI here. Okay, we can see RSI. We can see price making a lower high. Price makes a lower high here. Okay, clearly lower high from this high to this high. And you can see on the RSI, we're making higher highs from this high to his high. The RSI is going upwards, but the price is making lower highs. OK, so that's hidden bearish divergences. OK, so hidden bearish divergences here from this high to this high, this high to this high. So this is continuation that a downtrend is likely to continue. OK, <clears throat> so again, you never want to base your trades just off of divergences alone. But this is an important metric to be aware of when you're in a when you're in a strong sell off and then you're making trying to make a recovery on hidden bearish divergences. Something to be aware of. Absolutely. OK, so I thought I'd bring your eyes to those uh, hidden bearish divergences right there. Uh, so, yeah, that that's what I'm also obviously, you know, keeping very much in mind that along with this old parallel channel support that's flipped into resistance right now. And then this whole region that we are looking at right on resistance now. OK, this whole old resistance flipping into support as broken above holds you know you can see it holding very nicely here for a few weeks before getting the move up that has all flipped now into resistance so bulls to get up to anywhere even before we even think about getting back uh, up to the midpoint of the parallel channel which is a really long way away um you know, bulls have to get through this whole box of resistance first, combining that with some fib levels. You can say it is a very hard job. OK, so with that in mind, um, am I still trading altcoins? Am I still trading some long sculpts? Yes, absolutely. I am uh, because I'm a type of person that sees opportunity, sees a big sell off, sees uh, a lot of people panic selling. OK, so, you, you you know, people panic sell, you know, you're, you're coming down, you're panic selling people, uh, you know, that don't really know what they're doing too much. are just selling out of fear. And then you get the bounce and then they're stuck thinking, oh, no, I've just sold. You know, I've seen so many people like, oh, my God, I can't hold tether. I need to sell my tether. I need to, you know, tra trade it into another stable coin that's trading at a premium. And it's just I imagine they probably lost some money. Um, you know, I I, I, I made it clear that I, I was still staying in tether. I, I was not affected by any of the FUD, uh, although maybe that's naive. We'll. we'll We'll soon find out. But yeah, Tether on Bitfinex, you know, um, you can trade against uh, Tether now on Bitfinex, which is nice. But I'm still on the exchange. I'm still trading. I've, I've had no worries. And um, yeah, so far it's, it's worked out very nicely for me. So um, yeah, 
we'll see how that goes. Obviously, you want to have a little bit of caution, not financial advice or anything. So uh, do your own research on these exchanges, etc. Um, but yeah, for me, I don't mind it. Um, but obviously, yeah, when there's so much panic going in, you that's your like a nice opportunity to enter some scalp longs. These are not longs that you want to enter for a long term, okay? These are literally like day trades where you're in it for the day, okay? Or, or at least like a, a few hours, you know? Just some, some day trading slash scalping going on in some of these altcoins, okay? And potentially that Bitcoin obviously saw that bounce drop bounce, okay? So although we are in a strong, uh, you know, we've got bearish signs, there's still opportunities for the longs, okay? So just, just bear that in mind. And now I'd like to show you a few examples of some of these very nice longs. <laughs> very nice indeed. So I want to start off with EOS. And this is just highlighting the opportunity that you have in this, okay? So EOS was a coin that we've been trading over on the uh, Average Students channel. Um from last week's live stream where I was highlighting the the, the uh, symmetrical triangle that we were in and we were waiting for the break to the upside to go long or to the downside to go short and obviously that broke to the downside and where have we come down to? So what we're looking at here is clearly a wave one, two, three, four in the middle of possibly making the fifth but we need to bear in mind a few things here, okay? We've got this wave four as listed as a WXY. What do we not want to happen? We do not want to see wave four overlap with the potential wave three here, really, because then this could be relabeled fifth and now we're coming down for a bigger sort of ABC correction, okay? So I really um, just like ignoring if you just take off the Elliott waves a second, just, just ignore the Elliott waves if you want to. You would just see that this is a really, really strong support where you've seen the top of a wave three, okay? So top of the wave three resistance comes back down, okay? And then you move up for the, you know, the possible wave five going on here, okay? Who knows if it's in yet, but, you know, forget about that for a second. That's not what I want to concentrate on here. I just want to concentrate on the top of the resistance, okay? So this resistance, you come down. What happens? Price come falling down very hard, okay? So from the short, okay, price come down falling very hard here into 4.5, uh, $4.5 and this was the target that we had uh, we mentioned over on discord uh, literally like two days ago target 4.5 and target 4.5 hit perfectly <laughs> um, so target hit and we saw a 10% bounce 10% bounce up to that next resistance level about 9.3 apologies but you know this was a the, the, this was an old support Okay, old support flips into resistance that's a buy from or closing out with a short because we were shorting this so we're closing out with a short flipping into a long and then that gets another 10% bounce that is just an absolute perfect trade okay and this is like the these sort of opportunities that you need to see this coming down on on uh, on uh, bullish divergences so you've got bullish divergences on a big support level uh just constitutes a buy <laughs> so yeah this was um really nice okay you also see that this was the 382 fibonacci level so you had the 382 you had some um you had some higher term exponential moving averages and you also have the old resistance of wave three flipping into support to just hold this up really nicely. We did not want to see a candle close down below this. OK, candle close would have been very bad news. Um, you know, this could potentially still come down for another leg and that's just going to invalidate a lot of the bullish wave counts, in my opinion. Um, so it's just an alternate count that we have our eye on right now. But the primary is that we've held this support very nicely for an absolute you know, pinpoint touch, uh, which is just absolutely lovely to see as a trader. So then we're going to move on to Ontology, another coin that <laughs> you all know I love Ontology. Uh, if you've been following me long enough, you'll know it's one of my faves to trade. Okay, so what do we see here on Ontology? Price seeing an absolute stark sell-off, absolutely massive sell-off, 40% sell-off over the space of a few weeks, okay? 40% sell-off, you're gonna get bounces on the way down. Nothing just goes straight down, okay? Like you saw a bounce around here, you get the bounce, continuation downwards. Here we've seen a bounce, yeah, we could continue downwards again, but you have to say you're running into this whole region, which was support, support, resistance, resistance, that was resistance that was broken through where you could have been seen, although it was not a perfect um, triangle, you could have seen this as the sort of ascending triangle. Oh, that's really badly drawn. You could have seen this as a potential, I mean, what, what sort of triangle is that? But, you know, that just quickly drawn, that, the potential of that triangle that was obviously broken out of, retested, moved to the upside. And we're talking about that was a move to the upside, you know, about 100%. And then we've seen that 100% move sell off very strongly. Where did we come back down to? We come back down to this old resistance level, flips into support, and this is another 10% bounce from the bottom okay so well 13% from the bottom and we're talking about 10% bounce from the actual entry but uh yeah that, that's just like really nice altcoin trades and that's just two of many coins that I've been trading <laughs> um especially today I'm going to be entering some more altcoin trades I've, I've just um well actually I take that back because today I'm extremely extremely busy with the website 
which I wanted to mention. I'm going to mention about this really quickly because, um, yeah, let's just mention it. I'm so excited about it, by the way. I'm so honestly so excited to bring this for you all. Uh, but yeah, as I mentioned, what was this, yesterday? Um, I honestly have been working so hard on this website, like so, so hard on it. Uh, we've been, I've put in a lot of time and money basically into this website. I've got a web developer working for me on it as well. But yeah, I'm just... Uh, gonna get it ready and we're gonna be hopefully launching on the 1st of May so the website's not available at the moment not ready but it's gonna hopefully be ready on the 1st of May and I'm pretty certain so it's gonna be really really amazing so much hard work has gone into this I'm just so happy to be bringing it uh, obviously it's all focused on the mentorship and the learning and the education so if you're interested in like coming along and joining then that would be you know brilliant uh you know so much work is going to be put into this we've got like cheat sheets going on we've got obviously the live streams for educational live streams um yeah so yeah i'm really really excited for it basically to get this live and ready because there has been so much time and work that's been put into this um yeah it's gonna be brilliant obviously when it's fully released i'll do a, a proper video for the for the like public um so yeah, I'm, I'm really excited to get this ready and uh, yeah, you can stay tuned because the website and you know, it's just full on. If you want to be learning, if you want to be a good trader, then you're going to come along to the website and join because I'm telling you it's going to be amazing. But uh, yeah, I'm so excited. I've just put in un a lot of work on it basically. <laughs> uh, so I'm excited to get that ready. And uh, yeah, in, in the short term, coming back to Bitcoin, <laughs> uh, yeah, we're just obviously keeping our eyes on, on those hidden bearish divergences on the uh, on the uh, 4,923 support, which is still for me key. As mentioned yesterday, it's a key support level. And uh, until it's broken, well, we can still be looking for some short term longs, OK, because this is the key level that if it breaks, then you kind of lose a lot of of um, of the bullish scenarios. But while it still holds this hope, although little as it stands right now with those hidden bearish, OK, and with this big re region of resistance, but not impossible while that holds okay so those are the key levels that i'll be watching today uh but i'm going to be like half trading and half like helping on the website as best i can so um yeah it's going to be a, a very busy day well whole weekend for me for next few days are going to be busy with the website to be honest but uh yeah i like to, i can do multitask i'm a good multitasker what can i say <laughs> but yeah obviously uh, i'll be like in and out of some alts and uh yeah working on the website so um yeah, I hope you are all looking forward to that. Uh, it's going to be great. It's going to absolutely be absolutely be great. And I am very happy and excited for it. And I am excited to be trading cryptocurrency at the moment because it has been a joy. I love volatility. What we've seen, volatility. <laughs> it's been great. So, yeah, just keep your eyes on those levels. You know, you can add in some extra fibs on these charts. If you want to, you know, obviously where you were, where we were watching for the potential of wave two, you could add in some, you know, more fib levels in here. You know, there's the potential of wave two being way down at the February low, or there are obviously options of the wave two being in at slightly higher levels. So you could like add in a few fibs to those charts. But, you know, I'm going to wrap the video up here. I hope that you have enjoyed this video. Um, and yeah, I'll catch you all in the next one. So uh, stay tuned, everybody. And uh, yeah, have a brilliant weekend. Honestly, have a great one. Enjoy it. And uh, yeah, make some money. <laughs> Thank you. Cheers. Goodbye. Bye.